Hi there everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to my channel. Amongst other things, I'm a reenactor and a jouster and today I want to talk to you about something that I learned, possibly relearned this past weekend. Now this weekend just gone, um, I went and took part in an event up in the north of England. It was great fun, it was a St George's Day um, kind of pageant slash fair thing and um, a friend of mine, Kevin, was um, in charge of providing a uh, a St George, which he played along with some um, some other knights to go with him. Uh, there was a joust, there was a parade, there was some skill at arms, which I took part in, and it was just really great to get out and um, and be back on horseback, doing an event, seeing friends, meeting new people. Um, yeah, all of those things, really, really great. After such a long time um, in lockdown and things, um, just really, really great. But as with all of these things, um, we we tend to forget things over over time. It's been three years since I've uh, uh, I've had a proper event, and uh, um, one of the things that I forgot is that. Armour is not a suit. Uh, I know, you know, we don't call it a suit, we call it a harness, right? But part of the reason for that, and I've heard some people actually call it a system, which I quite like. Um, a harness, a system, a garniture is a word that's used in the 16th century. Um, but the, the way that I found it out, so because I wasn't doing... Um, actual the full joust I was doing skill at arms um I decided I'd wear half armor so I wore the top half of my cuirass and my arm armor um which seemed like a good way to start getting used to wearing my armor again and uh, um you know be ready for wearing full armor for um for the jousting that's coming up this coming weekend um and then <laughs> when I got home at the end of the weekend, I had a look in the mirror and down here and down here, I had some really, really big red marks, like swollen marks on my, um, on my shoulders. And basically, I had just chosen a, a couple of bits of armour, but I hadn't really thought about the way what I was leaving out of the armour and the way that would affect uh, what I was actually wearing. Now, I've mentioned this before when it comes to leg armour, how greaves actually help to support the weight of the creases and they reduce the amount of weight on the hips and um, stop slippage. So, um, mean that you can wear, the greaves allow you to wear it for longer. And it just didn't figure to me that the parts of the armour that I was leaving out would actually um, cause a problem for the pieces of armour that I was actually wearing. So uh, in particular, I didn't wear the placard, okay? Um, and that meant that there wasn't anything holding the top half of the cuirass up from the waist upwards. Um, so the weight of the cuirass was pressing down on my shoulders, okay? That it was only it was much lighter than the full cuirass, but because it didn't have that uh, pressure from the waist upwards, it meant that it was rubbing more than normal and it caused a problem there. Another problem that was caused was the lack of mail, so I didn't wear my mail standard around my neck. That goes out over my shoulders, and I hadn't thought that mail also provides a um, a protection against the rubbing of your own armour. Apart from anything else, if you've had your armour measured or made to accommodate mail, then um, there sh if you don't have the mail on, then you're going to be a different shape than what the armour is made for. But also, the way that mail works, when a weapon impacts on the mail, the impact is spread out over the rings because the rings are rigid they're connected to each other and that happens as well for your armor wearing over the top so when I wear 
my male standard and it goes out over my shoulder and the straps of the cuirass rest on top of the mail, it does exactly the same thing as it would for a sword strike. The links lock together and they spread the, uh, um, the weight of the plate pieces over a wider area, which again, that will then stop rubbing and stop your own armour from hurting yourself, okay? So I thought that was um, that was a an interesting thing. I I um, it was something that I had forgotten over the past three years, and it was something that arrived in a new area. You know, I'd thought about it for leg armor before, but I hadn't really thought about it um, for the cuirass, and I hadn't really thought about it um, the effect that leaving mail out of your armor system or your armor harness. Um, can actually uh, cause problems, even if you're not being struck, even if you're not actually fighting. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this thought. Um, I've actually, and you can check this out down below, I've just started a Patreon. I really don't know um, whether that is going to do anything, um, but you guys have been so supportive in the comments and uh, the likes, the shares, everything. Um, I thought I'd give a space where those of you that want to support me and support the channel can do that. If that's not for you, then really do not worry. There won't be any, uh, any videos over there. What I'm using it to do is I'm going to share a bit more detail on my projects as they go. A few work in progress things, um, either from projects that I myself am making or that I'm commissioning from other people. So if that's something that interests you, then do check that out. If not, then uh, all of the normal stuff is great. The likes, the shares, the comments. If you haven't subscribed, do that, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye-bye.